everybody. Today I am coming to you from my treadmill as you can see. Not that this video has anything to do with walking or running or treadmills, but I have had a lot going on. I just don't have a lot of time so I figured why not kill two birds with one stone, get in a bit of exercise and also say what I need to say. Now I do have a couple of videos from my time in South Africa that I've still got to edit and upload and I will get to those soon. I just have something I want to talk about today that is important to me. It's been on my mind and I know that it impacts a lot of people. I think it's something that's important uh, for us to be having conversations about. I have gained a fair amount of weight over the last couple of years for a variety of reasons and none of those reasons matter. This is not a video about how and why people get fat. I found it difficult enough to be a quote-unquote normal weight person in a world that places so much value on being thin and now I am in the position where I am an overweight person who exists in a world that places so much value on being thin. So I just wanted to give you a couple of pointers to bear in mind when you are interacting with a fat person, either face to face or online. So the first point is that fat people do not owe anybody an explanation. Nobody has to tell anyone else why they've gained weight, why they're fat, why they're overweight. And my message for the fat people out there is that you do not have to justify yourself to anybody. You do not have that obligation. Every time I see a social media post that has anything to do with obesity or people being overweight, there are comments written by fat people who are explaining why they're fat. You know, I'm fat because I have a medical condition, or I'm fat because I'm on this medication, or I'm fat because this thing happened to me, or that thing happened to me. And it breaks my heart to see that people are feeling compelled to share intensely personal details about themselves that they may not feel comfortable sharing because they feel that they kind of somehow owe the world an explanation. They don't. Point number two, fat people deserve to be treated with as much dignity as anybody else. Time and time again, I see things posted on social media that basically make fun of fat people. Could be a, a picture, very frequently it is a video and I would be willing to bet that not one of the people featured in those pictures and videos has consented to that image of themselves being posted all over the internet for everybody to mark so just don't do it it's you know that that's not the way anybody should treat another human being and to treat someone that way just because they weigh more than society thinks they should is despicable. It, it's awful and it shouldn't happen. Point number three, believe it or not, fat people know they're fat. They're overweight, they're not stupid. They have mirrors. They do not need people to be telling them that they're fat and they really should lose weight. They know. Point number four. Again, this ties into the fact that fat people are fat, they're not stupid. Fat people know that there are health risks associated with being fat. We know that there's an increased risk of heart disease, of stroke, of respiratory ailments. We know all of that stuff. So there is no need to post condescending comments on social media posts, reminding fat people that they are slowly killing themselves. The state of health of a fat person is between that individual and their doctor. Point number five, 
losing weight is not always as simple as watching your diet and getting enough exercise. So there is always someone who pipe up and say, well, all you have to do is watch what you eat, do some exercise, burn more calories than you consume. That's all you have to do and everything will magically fall into place and you will lose weight. No, that is not always the case. You don't know everybody's story. So you don't know what's gonna work for them. You don't know their journey. You don't know anything about them. Point number six, I want to address the statement that I keep seeing on social media that uh, people say things like, I'm not fat shaming, I'm just concerned about people's health. I call a big fat BS on that one. And you know why? Because I never see that same narrative on posts that are about people who are thin. Being too thin is not any healthier than being too fat. You know, it's possible to be healthy when you're thin, it's possible to be unhealthy when you're thin. It's possible to be healthy when you're fat. It's possible to be unhealthy when you're fat. So until I start seeing that same narrative on posts about people who are either of normal weight or underweight, I'm not going to believe you when you say that you're not fat shaming, you just care about people's health. And my final point, point number seven, fat people do not glorify obesity. And, you know, this is a, a new breed of social media posts that I'm seeing. They post links to articles and, you know, medical journals and scientific studies and all this kind of stuff. And they say, stop glorifying obesity. Fat people need to stop glorifying obesity. Fat people do not glorify obesity. All fat people are saying is that they deserve to occupy the space they occupy in this world. They deserve to be treated with respect. They deserve to not be shamed. They deserve to not be spoken down to or spoken at or lectured at. They deserve to not have the internet warriors telling them how they should live their lives. They just wanna be. So that is my rant. Does it count as a rant? Generally, I'm not a ranty person. I think there's probably some people who, do, who disagree with me on that. Just treat everyone nice, that's all I'm saying. Whether they're fat, whether they're thin, whether they're, you know, no matter who they are, what they look like, where they come from, what their story is, whether you know them or not, just treat people with respect, that's all I'm saying. So, thank you for listening, and I will see you next time. Bye!